Hello friends and welcome to part 8 of our Fast API tutorial. This is going to be a fairly short video in which we are going to talk about fields for our request body. Fields. For some reason it doesn't sound like I'm pronouncing the D properly. Field. This is a fields. Sorry. Little little side side thing. I don't know. Side thing is not really a word. Okay. Let's move on. Um, so you can see here we've got our app running. You can see here we've got nothing right now because per the way I set it up in the last video, I'm just going to leave all this in here so that it doesn't like, you know, kind of change with each lesson. Um, but I'm just going to comment it out. So there are no requests right now. Okay, perfect. Grand. Now, what we will do is first thing, we're going to set up a, um, a class, uh, a base model that we're going to extend from. So let's say class item base model. And we're going to say name is a string. Now let's set up our route app.put items item ID. We're going to say async def update item. Item ID is an int. Item is going to be an item element, but let's actually give it some metadata. Embed equals true. As we do all the time, results equals item ID, item ID, and item, item, and then we'll just return results. Now, for those of you who don't remember this, embed equals true. What this does is um, it adds this, it adds the, the information that you care about as a value in a key value pair. If we didn't have this embed equals true, just as a, a refresher from the last video, then it would be at the top level. Anything that you passed in in the, the top level would be um, included as the item body. So if we go back in here and refresh, there, now we're set up like this. And this all works as we anticipate, one, two, three, we hit execute, and we're good. This is what we anticipate getting. Now we have this body parameter and you can see we have this query parameter, we have a path parameter, not parameter, we have the objects that, um, that allow us to declare metadata for, you know, somewhat complex things, you know, was it, whether it's a query parameter or whether it's a, um, you know, if we want an individual element to be a body element, something like that. Uh, but we don't have anything for just generic types within our body element until now. So let's go in here, description, equals, no, we're going to say string or none equals something. We're going to by default set it to none and title is going to be the description of the item max length equals 300. Now, I mean, it's, it should be fairly obvious based on what this video is called, the thing that we're going to be importing. But in case anyone is not caught on yet, it's field. We're going to be importing a field element. One quick thing though, we are not importing it from fast API. We are actually importing it from Pydantic. Um, you know, if you don't recall, um, remember fast API kind of extends, um, starlet and Pydantic. It's kind of like a nice little baby of the two of those things. So there are some things that are actually just um, direct pass-throughs from you know Starlet through Fast API. There's no extra functionality that's, that gets included. It's just passed right through. Um, this is the sort of thing that that I guess um, was not included, but you know we can still import it directly from Pydantic. Let's add a couple other things. Let's say price is going to be a float. We will say field no default greater than or equals zero description equals the price must be greater than zero. And let's add in our tax float or none equals none. Now we save, we refresh this page over here. You can see this looks no different than it did before. One, two, three, we can hit this and we get, oh, duh. Cannot, it has to be greater than zero. Let's make it one. And we get exactly what we anticipate. Uh, so you might be wondering where, like, where's the benefit to doing this? Um, well, the benefit is right here. 
in the schema. Um, it shows you the item right here. It shows you the item that's included in this method that we have right here. If you don't want to scroll all the way to the bottom, you can go all the way up to the top again. And let's reset. Let's refresh this page. You notice this example value here? Well, just click on schema and it shows exactly the same thing that it showed down below. You can see here's the description, max length, minimum, description, the whole nine yards. Um, so that's kind of it. Uh, this was, a, a, like I said, a fairly short video. We've covered a lot of these topics in uh, prior videos. Um, in the next video, we will talk about nesting models. So, not, so we're not everything is at the top level of your request. Um, nesting models within each other for our request body. Okay, we'll see you then.